Hi, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. In this video, we are going to solve axis symmetric problem using Abacus CA. In order to be good CA engineer, you should always exploit the advantages from any kind of symmetry. That makes our job more efficient. First, it's very important to understand what is axis symmetric problem. Let's take an example. This is a cylindrical body. And for cylindrical body, we can also use cylindrical coordinates instead of Cartesian coordinates. So cylindrical coordinates are shown over here. In cylindrical coordinates, we give R, theta, and Z. So if you have any particular problem where your problem solution is going to be independent of this angle theta, then you can use axisymmetric elements. For example, in three-dimensional analysis case, if our solution is independent of any particular direction, then we can convert that 3D problem into 2D problem by assuming plane strain or plane stress. Similarly, if in cylindrical coordinates, your solution is independent of angle theta, you can convert that three-dimensional problem into a two-dimensional problem. So very important thing to consider here is everything should be independent of angle theta. For example, if you have a load, then that load also should be independent of angle theta. If you have load only in one direction, let's say here, and there is no load over here in the right side, then you can't use this axisymmetry. So all boundary conditions, all loads, everything should be independent of angle theta. So let's come to our problem. This is the geometry what we are going to use. All the dimensions are given over here. Dimensions are in meters. Anyway, for this problem, we can choose Z axis at the center. So the domain is symmetric around Z axis. And using this symmetry, we can convert this three dimensional problem into this two dimensional problem. Over here, this is our axis of symmetry. And if we revolve this shape around this axis of symmetry by 360 degrees, we will get this 3D domain. Boundary conditions are very simple, fixed at the bottom, and there is some pressure on the top. I'm going to assume aluminum as the material for this domain, and material properties of aluminum are shown over here. And these are the names of axisymmetric elements in Abacus. You can use any one of this for two-dimensional case. Let's start with Abacus CA. First, set your working directory, and then start with a part. I will name it as cylinder and here you have to choose axis symmetric. Let's make this size as 20. Now always remember you have to draw the shape only in first quadrant. If you draw anywhere else Abacus will give you error. So always draw your shape only in this first quadrant and we have to draw this shape. So let's start. I'm going to enter the coordinates 0 0. Next coordinate will be 0 0.15 comma 0. Next 0 0.15 comma 0 0.5. Then 0 0.075 comma 0 0.5. 0 0.075 comma 0 0.7. And finally, 0 and 0 0.7. And then just close the loop, 0, 0. Say done. And that's it. This is your part. Next, let's create material. Aluminium. And we are going to do just static analysis. So only Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio is needed. Young's modulus is 70 gigapascal. Remember, we are using SI units, 0 0.33. Then create a section, aluminum section. You have to choose solid homogeneous section. Select aluminum as material and then assign the section to our part. Let's create one instance. Then step, create a static general step. You don't have to change anything actually over here. This is very simple geometry, very simple material. So you don't have to change anything. Then go to load. Now, as you can see over here, we are going to fix the bottom edge and we are going to apply pressure on the top edge of 100 megapascal. So let me put fixed boundary condition first. I'm going to just put U1, U2 at zero and then apply pressure. 
select pressure over here on top boundary condition which is 100 mega Pascal then go to mesh first go to part because our mesh will be on part go to mesh and select controls and you can make it structured mesh then go to element type in this domain and by default you can see axisymmetric stress element so this is cax for r element if you don't want reduce integration you can remove this tick but actually it doesn't matter you can keep it or don't keep it for this problem specifically it doesn't matter let's seed the part maybe a little bit finer I think this is too fine let's go with 0 0.02 perfect and mesh it you can see near the corner here there is some issue with the mesh so let's make it little bit finer and also go to mesh controls and select quad let's see now how it looks yeah now it looks better finally go to job create a job and submit it job is done pretty quickly let's go to results I'm going to hide the mesh first and let me make it uniform one yes and these are the results you can see some stress concentration over here because of this corner and one thing what you can do here is you can visualize the results in three dimensions so just click over here uh, ODB display options and go to sweep slash extrude and over here you can sweep the elements by let's say 180 degree and if you say apply you can see the results in three dimensions as your solution is independent of angle theta the solution will be same at any angle theta therefore abacus can just represent it in three dimensional with same solution you can even make this 360 degrees and you can increase this number of segment to make it smoother here is your three-dimensional visualization and you saved a lot of computational time by converting 3d problem into 2d problem that's it for this video guys if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.